what's going on? Pat McLaughlin here from DrumlineChops.com and in this lesson I'm going to teach you exactly what the 421 formula or the 421 concept is. Right? I have a lot of students and a lot of people asking me what is the 421 formula? Right? You know, I've heard about it in different exercises, I've heard other drummers talking about it and plugging in rudiments or, or grids into it. But what is the 421 formula and how does it work? Well, that's what you're going to learn in this lesson, okay? So, uh, the 421 formula is pretty straightforward to understand, okay? And it's pretty straightforward to understand because the entire formula is laid out for you in the name, all right? It's all in the numbers. The 4, the 2, and the 1 is all you really need to know, okay? So, let me tell you how to plug things into it, right? Uh, in, the, in the case of this example, let's pretend that we are going to plug triplets and sixteenth notes into the 4-2-1 formula. All right? So, in the first section, or the fours section, all right, we're going to play four beats of triplets followed by four beats of sixteenth notes. All right? And you play those eight beats one time. Okay? So again, in the fours section, you would play four beats of triplets followed by four beats of sixteen notes. Right? Now in the second section, or the twos section, you play two beats of each grouping. All right? So I would play two beats of triplets, followed by two beats of sixteen notes. But in the two section, you play the two section twice. All right? So I would play two beats of triplets, followed by two beats of sixteen notes, and then two more beats of triplets, and two more beats of sixteen notes. Right? So that's this, the middle section, or the two section. In the last section, or the ones section, you're going to play one beat of each grouping and play that cycle four times. All right? So in this example, I would play one beat of triplets followed by one beat of sixteenth notes and then do that four times. So one beat of triplets, one beat of sixteenth notes, one beat of triplets, one beat of sixteenth notes, one beat of triplets, one beat of 16 notes, one beat of triplets, one beat of 16 notes. Okay? So again, uh, one beat of each grouping four times. Right? So that's each one of the sections. Right? And so when you 4 2 1 something, again, you take whatever grouping, rhythm, rudiment, you know, beat, pattern, whatever it is you're plugging into the formula, uh, you do that amount of times. Right? So again, in the first section or the fourth section, you play four beats of it, or you play the rudiment four times, or whatever the case may be. Then in the second section, or the two section, you play two beats of each grouping, or uh, two, two uh, times through the rudiment, or the beat, or the pattern, whatever it is, and you play that twice. And in the last section, you play uh, each grouping one time, and, and repeat that cycle four times. Okay? So that's the 421 concept just broken down the just the concept and the formula itself. Now what you can do is plug whatever you want into it, okay? Whether it's just rhythms like what we did here with triplets and 16 notes, you can do uh flan drags uh with accents, right? You can shift the accents around like gridding, which I'll teach you in another video. Um, or you can do rhythms like you could do one e and or one and a, right? And you could four, two, one, just those two rhythms. Okay? So there's a ton of different stuff that you can do with this concept and this formula. Uh, it's, it's very, very flexible and it's a great uh, concept to have down because it makes practicing a lot of fun and very, very productive. Okay? So I hope that this video was helpful and that I successfully taught you what the four, two, one concept is. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to let me know. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, Go tell your friends about it on Facebook and Twitter. All right? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time on drumlinechops.com.